everyone, this is Matthew Movies coming at you with my latest review, and this time I'm going to be talking about the entire Hatchet trilogy. Um, one of my uh, well, newish uh, subscribers by the name of Simon Korachev. Uh, I probably butchered his name, but uh, he's a great he's a great dude, uh, and he just subscribed to my channel fairly recently, and he asked me if I could check out these movies. Uh, he knows that I'm a big horror buff. He's a big horror buff, so he wanted to hear my thoughts on it, and I hadn't seen any of these movies until the last few days, and at his request, I decided to check them out, and I enjoyed the movies for the most part. Um, here's the thing. Here's my perspective on these movies. These movies are horror movies made for horror fans, and what I mean by that is if you're if you're not a horror fan, if you're not a horror person, I don't think you're gonna like these movies all that much. Um, they're the but the the production on them is not tip top by any stretch of the imagination. And I actually feel like the budget does let the 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 budget probably lets down the production to a, a fairly decent degree um and you basically i in my view need to be like a horror fan to be able to let go of some of the cheaper effects and some of the uh production gaffes and the fact that this movie to me is shot very very much like an independent film but or like even like an independent television show like there's um there's not like a glossy feel like you see in certain movies uh but they're also like there it's it makes you feel the way it's shot to me makes you feel like you're not all that invested in the characters because it's not like you know when for the most part when the 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 monster the creature that kill, is killing everybody the villain uh, shows up it's not like usually you're in the mind space of the hero or even like the other people involved like you're never you're never given shots from their perspective you're never it's never like uh you never get those scare moments where all of a sudden like he's coming from around there it's more like they'll show somebody's face and they'll kind of pan and the guy is right there kind of thing so you you throughout the movie you're given the perspective as like a third person perspective instead of ever actually being put into the situation where it makes you feel like you're in any kind of danger yourself and i and to a degree that works because there is definitely a campy feel to this like um there, there's a character named uh reverend zombie or reverend voodoo i can't remember exactly which one uh it was played by the, the great tony todd from candy man and the night of the living dead remake who i'm a huge fan of um and like that's that's the level of the tip of characters that you're going to see in this movie like everything is this movie the, another reason why i say this movie is a horror fans horror movie is like i feel like it plays on all the tropes of a classic horror movie like it's basically scream without being self-aware right where you're seeing like like uh, the the origin of the the creature is very of uh, like kind of by the numbers it's like a combination of um like friday the 13th and nightmare on the nightmare on elm street where you have a uh, uh, spoiler you have a deformed kid who's trapped in trapped in a cabin who gets lit on fire i mean could that be any more uh elm street and friday the 13th if it tried um but it, it, there's all kinds of great allusions to classic horror like you like th there's lots of cameos like i said there's tony todd uh kane hodder the gentleman who has played friday the 13th on numerous occasions plays the monster in this and also plays the monster's dad um er, uh, the sid haig from uh, the some of the classic 70s black blaxploitation and the movies like uh, house of a thousand corpses and the devil's rejects um uh robert england makes a cameo in the first movie like you so you have Danielle Harris, who's in some of the Halloween movies. Um, you have like there's so there's all kinds of throwbacks to classic horror, and also like I said, like the the, the themes are very very similar to other movies. So, but there's also like the, the the take on the movie is is pretty interesting too. Like for instance, I'll give you one specific example that I actually thought was fantastic. Uh, I traditionally I do not care for it generally when one actor plays multiple characters, like when an actor plays his own father or brother or what have you right and there's a character who, who's an asian american character in this movie in the first movie he dies in the second movie the same actor plays his own twin brother which is forgivable they're twin brothers but it's still kind of like all right and then he dies in that second movie and before i watched the third movie i was like i kind of want that guy to come back i have no idea how he'd do it like if he was his cousin it would be pretty cheesy but it'd be kind of funny because at this point they've already done they might as well keep the tradition going well in the third movie he's not related to the other two guys he is back and there's actually a scene where somebody was 
like, hey, you kind of look like that guy. He's like, yeah, sure. All Asian guys all look the same. And I was genius. Like, I was hilarious. Like, and there's stuff like that throughout this movie. Like, they, this movie, uh, this series, I should say, they, you can tell that they know what they are. And they're not trying to exceed what they're capable of. They're just trying to tell a story that will be entertaining to horror fans. And that's what they accomplish. So to me, I give this movie, uh, I, I would say this movie is definitely worth watching if you're a horror fan. If you're not, I'd stay away from it. So that's that's going to be it for me for this one, guys. Uh, have yourself a nice day. But before you do, or not before you do, but please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Getting new subscribers means so, so, so much to me. Uh, I love getting my channel out there. And have yourself a good day.